Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I've done a video, so thank you for bearing with me. Work has gone a bit hectic and as you all know, day jobs are what keep the hobby alive for us because it means we can get our hands on plastic crack. Um, I've been away, I don't think I've missed much. But I don't think anybody wants to hear my opinions on the cities of Sigma. So don't feel like you missed out because I don't think I actually had anything to bring to the conversation. Because I, I, I can be honest, I'm not a fan of City of Sigma. But we're not talking about that. We are talking about the roadmap that was shown to us by Warhammer for Warcry. So, let's call it a path to glory, because we're talking about chaos, and let's dive into it and see what it's all about. Right then guys, first up, GW have announced that soon Warcry starter box set will be gone, so if you're thinking of picking it up as a present to someone, or present to yourself, better get in there quick, because once it's off the shelves, it's gone for good. But they've released all the, the war bands, they've released new scenery and they've also confirmed that the starter set scenery is going to be in a box of its own, picture of it on the screen in front of you. So you're not missing out, you've just missed out on a deal and I kind of like the fact that they're bringing this out separately because I just, I know, admit it, I was a bit of a dunce. I went straight into the book, copied what was in the book, didn't think about the war cards because there's different bits of scenery. So if you were like me, this could help you fill in the gaps. But yeah, it's amazing that they are looking out for the customer. But that's not all. That's not all for. Also guys, we have got a Tome of Champions book that's probably going to be coming out for Christmas if I'm to have my uh, guessing hat on. And this is going to be, I think, first year roundup. So it's going to have all the FAQ updates. This will have any additional monsters from the, uh, from the um, recent uh, release. The name of it escapes me at the moment, so it's very unprofessional of me. I do apologise. But you probably can't hear me because my audio is all messed up. Because I don't know what's happened to my PC. Anyway, so, it's going to be our, like our first year almanac. I think this is perfect. It adds an extra dimension. It's a, a booklet you can just keep in your bag. Always there when you want a game on the go. And I will say, I absolutely love this game. I've even picked up a few additional models which I shouldn't do because I'm still getting everything else finished just because of that uh, just because of that book so I leave you to guess which ones I picked up anyway I absolutely love Warcry absolutely phenomenal it's near Blood Bowl amount of love in my eyes but Perhaps, I, perhaps I'm just a skirmish, I'm a skirmish game person rather than a big game. Perhaps, perhaps I just like my games quick. And this is amazing, I think. But, of course, GW have said, here's your war bands, here's your core book, here's your scenery, here's what's to come in the future releases, which we've got the Tomo Champion. But... If you were like me and you went through your core book, you noticed there was two additional war bands. We haven't even heard of them until the book. And they just had a page to themselves. No rules, no nothing. Air of mystery. GW has kept us, uh, kept us wanting and now they've released a little bit of a teaser. So let's have a look. And here's the first glimpse. It is a Spire Tyrant as per GW, which is, as they have said, a cross between a Varangard 
and a Chaos Marauder, and I think they're not just alluding to the Mankini this thing is really then. It's going to be hard hitting, it's going to be durable, it's probably going to have the same pace as the Iron Golems for sturdiness, but they just look mean, they look amazing. I can't wait until these are released, but I hope they don't keep us waiting long. These things do look good. And as we know from the book, the Spy Spire Tyrants are the they are the gladiators from the pits of you know the Varan Spire. So these things look amazing. They've got a good background. They're gonna have good rules. Please don't keep me waiting long, GW. This is gonna be amazing. And we've got one more sneak that GW has given us. So this is gonna give us another little. Uh, it's another beast of chaos, which they call him the Crusher. I'm guessing it's a troll. He looks mean, he looks formidable, and yeah, he looks like something you would want on his side. From the right up, GW have said, is these are gonna be not just hard hitting in close combat, these are gonna be able to throw rocks at you. So they're not gonna be able to just crush you in combat, they're gonna be able to crush you from a distance. So there's no hiding from this brute and I'm gonna say it guys I say it about every model that we see I think this model is amazing the detail on him is fantastic I'm not quite sure whether I'll be able to pull off the uh, two-tone between the pink belly and the grey top but that's why I am the noob and I've got to practice this stuff he's just amazing it's just I can't get over the level of detail, even down to the rock that he is carrying. It's just, it looks like he's picked up a piece of the scenery just to, well, just to make you with it, basically. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think GW has given us enough to tempt us into 2020 and stay with Warcry? Do you like the fact that they've set out the road ahead now to tell us about it when they don't normally tell us? Um, even down to the point of, uh, set, tell us the start set is going soon so you know or you do you not care do you, do you think Warcry was a good little gimmick but now it's run its course uh, tell me down below and I shall see you in the next video and hopefully in the next video my audio will be corrected so I do apologize for that now